You don't look ready. I'm ready. I'm- oh my God, that was too easy. It was 15 minutes for like 15 hours. It's like taking candy from a baby, bro. A baby. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Caruth here and welcome back to another episode of Cold Call Battles where I put my skills on the phone to see what I got against these up and coming real estate agents. I'm so excited about this, this season for Cold Call Battles. We got some really good agents coming up, including the one today, Mr. Andy Mankata. This guy has 6.3 million closed and under contract so far this year so he ain't playing around he's with exp realty we about to get down today's episode is sponsored by red x if you're wondering where we get all these incredible leads to call where we're setting all these appointments getting all these deals i've tried many services and red x is absolutely the best whether you're calling expires for sell by owners circle prospecting whatever you're doing their data is top notch they have the best prospecting dialer and tools to boost your listing inventory. If listings is what you're looking for, Red X is what you need. Check them out with our $150 discount, link below. If we make a call and we have a conversation, that's gonna be one point. Now, if you if somebody answers and you start talking, you start babbling all your stuff and they hang up on you, that's gonna be a minus one point. So you could actually end up negative at the end of the day. I'm, I'm, we're gonna see where you're at. And if you get an email from the prospect, that's gonna be three points, all right? And if you set an appointment, that's gonna be the Holy Grail, the Dalai Lama, and you're gonna get five points for that, all right? You ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's make this happen, bro. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get to die. Me, Ricky Carruth, the XP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing today? Hey, I'm good. How about you? I'm doing just fine, enjoying this good weather we having. It's nice outside, ain't it? Yeah, it is. We're kind of stuck inside, but yeah, it's nice out. What you doing, working? Yeah, I've, I've been working from home. I actually took a job with a mortgage broker. Um, I'm working for and for two of them actually oh okay okay cool yeah. cool well that's good yeah. that'll that'll help you so what yeah. what what'd you do before that you want to get the prospect talking and talking about what themselves they want to talk about them if we can get them talking about them um then we're moving in the right direction we're helping them be you know more comfortable with us more comfortable in this scenario talking to this stranger who's acting like they want to be the best friend and we actually move towards the possibility of actually becoming friends in a business environment that we can actually do business. Is it show ready? Like, could I come by and take a look at it tomorrow or Friday or something? Um, yeah, it might be Friday. I need to clean up. Yeah. Them, so I need to get those cleaned up before anybody sees them just to make it look like yeah. they're in Well, it's, it's just going to be me. It's just going to be me. Okay. I just want to take a look at it and just see the condition because, you know, I might have somebody. What time Friday works? Um... Really, I guess anytime Friday. Let's just plan on uh, ten o'clock. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. And, and, the, um, and the, gonna, is this your cell out. number? It is. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, I'll check. I put that on Facebook, but I mean, I'm open to giving a fire agent fee if they yeah. find me somebody. Mhm. Mm I just have to play with the numbers to see, kind of, you know. Yeah. Because I have a goal in mind for myself. So I kind of know what my bottom line is going to be. What is your email? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, look, I'm going to plan on 10 o'clock Friday. Um, stop by and take a look. I'm going to text you here in a little while. So, okay. you, so you got all my information in case that time needs to change on your end. And uh, okay. you can just let me know. And, uh, okay. and I'll confirm to Friday morning before I just show up and stuff as well. Okay, that cool. works. And in the meantime, I'll be working on getting that in a better place. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Dude, is that is that eight? Po I got an email and an appointment. What's that count for? Oh my God, that was too easy. Hello. Yes. This is uh, Andy Mankata. I'm actually a realtor here in West Babylon. I was calling about okay. that renovated house you have in Holbrook. Uh, yes, I'm actually the owner. We're doing for sale by owner. Oh, um, okay. Sweet. Yep. 
Yep. Sweet. So we actually, I was just uh, trying to go online. I think I'm going to have, because I've been getting a lot of calls. Mm -hmm. We had an open house this past weekend, um, but I think we're going to have one tomorrow night and Friday night as well. Okay, um, nice. So you have buyers that are interested? Uh, so I actually wanted to find out more about the property because my buyers might be interested, but they're okay. still in the process of getting pre-approved right now. Okay. So um, yeah, just just so you know, there's been a lot of interest. Um, right now, I don't have anything on there as far as like a buying agent commission, uh, you know, any compensation. But mm -hmm. like I've told everybody else, that would just be either have you know see if your buyer would be willing to pay that, or it would be part of the offer. Um, you know that it would include it in the price okay. that would come out from there. Understood. So so can you tell me a little bit more about how the traction has been? When I'm asking somebody to tell me about the property, I want to get them in a good mood. They're also talking to me more, so again, they do get more comfortable with me. And three, you can't really ask for a close when you have zero report built at all. Somebody will go and sign up with an incompetent real estate agent or somebody that's not the best for the job simply because they trust them because they have rapport with them. It doesn't ever go the other way around. You never see somebody signing up to work with anybody that they don't trust at all or that they really don't even feel like they know. Understood. So, Understood. So, um, so, so, when am I able to come by for the property? Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the open house tomorrow, just because uh, it's easier to just kind of have everybody have two dogs, so I can get them out of the house at the same time. Even though they're friendly, they're gonna be, you know, they'll be overexcited <laughs> that everybody's here. It seems like you're gonna sell this place on your own, no problem. But is there yes. any reason why you went for sale by owner? Like you have family in the business and you couldn't decide between any of them? I No, I actually did real estate for, for quite a few years. Uh, it's been a while, but I've oh, kind nice. of kept up to date with it. And I know how well this house will sell. Um, and honestly, just from a business decision, it just made more sense to, you know, do what I know and then uh, go from there. She had a pain point originally, which is why she came onto the market, and that pain point was already solved, being that she already had offers. I didn't really think she was sellable, um, or that there was a hot button that I could push on in order to try to get her to get a solo appointment. What I'll do right now then, is I'll grab your email so I can send you any documents once I do get them. Mm -hmm. um, what's, what's a good email for you? So Howard? I will be on the lookout, and I will see you later this week, hopefully. Sounds good. Alrighty. Thanks so much, Andy. You take care. We'll talk right, soon. Take care. Bye bye. I heard Andy's first call, and you know, I think the thing about it is, is it don't matter if she's got a bunch of offers. It don't matter if she's a real estate agent. I'm trying to see that house. If I'm in the stage of my business where I'm trying to build the business and I ain't got appointments to go to, I'm gonna set that appointment, go see that house, and meet her because I don't know what that could turn into. She might want to buy something she can't find. And all of a sudden, ding, ding, ding. Now I'm making calls for her to find something she wants to buy because she can't find it. She don't want to get on the phone. So what's that lead me to do? Get to work finding her something. This is a people business. So just focus on people and everything else will fall right into place. Okay, everybody, it's time for the Red X bonus round where we get double the points. And if you want to double the amount of people that you talk to in your market, if you want to have more real estate conversations, then go check out Red X. I've been using them personally for years and they're essential to my business and really it's the only tool that you'll ever need. Hello. Hey, man. Okay, this is uh, this is Ricky Carruth with EXP Realty here in Orange Beach. Do you, am I talking to the right person? Do you have this condo for sale? I do. Okay, okay. Well, and that's Windrift, correct? No. Okay. Old River. Old River. Okay. I, I could see it on the map. I knew it was right there, somewhere in there. I've sold several Old Rivers and Wind Drifts and everything else down here. No, I was just calling about that to see if there was something special about it or if there was something you could maybe help me with in terms of, you know, trying to get a client interested in it. Um, well, it, it, there, it's on the top floor. Okay. So it has the very high ceilings. Okay. Golly, a marble so walk-in shower? Yeah. Yes, so we put a, a cabinet in there as a linen instead of the linen closet and updated that. That sounds like I could um, live there. You could. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to come take a look at this amazing sound in place sometime. Is it show ready? Like, could I come look at it in the next day or two? Sure. Okay. Just let me know when you're coming so I can make sure my bed is nice. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. What about what about like Friday at eleven o'clock ish, something like that? Just a moment and let me check my calendar just to make sure I don't have anything. Okay. Um, 
Friday at 11. We'll yeah. Just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to ask you. What is your email by chance, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing Ricky get 18 points in, in, in the double round really wasn't that surprising to me. Um, just because of how competent I know he is. <laughs> Dude, it's like taking candy from a baby, bro. A baby. Ralph. Yes, this is uh, Andy Mankata. I'm in West Babylon. I'm an agent with EXP Realty. That was the home in Northport. Is that uh, still available? Yes, it is. Okay, sweet. I was just calling to see if there was, um, you know, anything special about the home or how you might be able to help me get a client interested in it. By the FBI, no kidding. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, that was uh, what I like to call talking twos. <laughs> they'll talk, they'll talk, and then you tell them to stop. And if you don't tell them to stop, they ain't gonna stop. Nah, he, he did great. You just, that's what you do with them talking twos. <laughs> you let them talk, let them do what they love. A lot of my clients in the past have actually loved working with me because I tend to bring them more city buyers than any other agent. If I could show you a way where I can bring you city buyers and make you potentially more than you thought you were gonna make on this, would you be opposed to meeting? Well, uh, you know, because right now, you, see, you do realize it's uh, multiple listed for like another month. So, but my wife and I think about changing agents anyway, but she didn't get it sold. Then I need a hustle in person that's not afraid to make a cold call, work his list, you know. Uh, yep. Do you have my email address? Yeah, let me grab your email real quick. Okay. Yeah, no, I can I can certainly help you out. Let's um let's make sure to chat about it when I do come over. When is when is a good date for you? You said sometime in August. Okay, so how about we just tentatively pencil something in for now, and then if anything changes, you just reach back out. All right, that's good. How about August sixth? Okay, let's do August sixth at um, nine forty five a.m. At the end of the day, you you add up the hours you're gonna spend to go do that deal, you made a nice little hourly rate. Uh, you know, it wouldn't matter if you're on the phone with them 15, 20, 30. I'm not trying to get it done fast. I'm trying to get it done right. I don't mind spending 30 minutes on a call with a prospect to get to know them better, understand their situation better. The more I understand their situation and the more I get to know them as a person, then the better service I can give them. People will tell you how they want to be sold. So they're going to tell you, hey, I want a Diet Coke with a hamburger. And the problem is most real estate agents, they go, actually, you want the cheeseburger with a, with a Sprite. And then the client's like, what the heck, that's not what I asked for. And they end up moving in the call and not converting the client. Okay, guys, here we go, going into round three. It's pretty close. It's a pretty close battle here, and I'm excited to see how this thing ends up. Let's get into it. Oh, it's so soothing. The sound just relaxes you. It's the sound of... Hello? Hey, Yes? Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Good, good. You you got the house for sale up there on Pig? I do. Cool. Um, you any luck with it? Yeah, we have quite a bit of interest, actually. We just had it reappraised, so. Yeah, I mean, anything that price range <laughs> anywhere is probably going to get. Plus, it actually looks kind of nice on the inside. Did you guys yeah, do all that work? Yeah. yeah, we did all of it. Nice, nice. And it's is it vacant? Or how could I? It is. Okay, cool. Um, what is it? Was it a rental property or what? Why are you guys selling it? You know what? I'm, I'm actually interested in this myself. I'd like to come just take a quick peek at it. Does, uh, how could I take a look at it? Is it, do you got to meet me there or is it a lockbox or how do I, what would I yeah, do? Yeah, we can meet you over there. Okay. Um, we are doing open house all weekend. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
Uh, you're welcome to Let come me then. see what you got. What what time is your open house on those I days? I think we're going to start around 8 or 9. Now, her having that open house didn't limit me to an appointment. I'm going I'm to text you and just make sure Friday morning that you guys are still there and everything. And then if you would, what is your email address? <laughs> I mean, it's like... Baby, dude, I literally, dude, I'm changing diapers over here. I'm just like, here, here, little kid, wait, wait you got some candy? <laughs> like, give me that candy, baby. Give me that candy. Hello. Hello. Yes. This is uh, Andy Mankata here with EXP Realty. I was calling about that. Yes. Absolutely magnificent home you have for sale and ease to talk it. Thanks. We were actually in contract. We're just, um, you know, like, I think it's all good. I think we're done. Oh, when did you sign contracts? Uh, we didn't sign it yet. We're signing it this week. We're just getting some seals together. Okay. If it, uh, if it falls through, I'll call you back. Okay. okay. Would you be open to accepting any offers at this time? I mean, we, we have an offer for, for a million right now. Or mm. like $10 under a million. Mm. So. Okay. Well, well, we'll keep in touch then. And um, okay. I'll check back in with you in a week. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, what, what I'll do for now is I'll just grab your email really quick so at least you know who I am and I can send you over uh, my credentials. Okay. I will forward that over and we will talk soon then, okay? Sounds good, thanks. Alright. Okay. I mean, I think it was unfortunate that guy was already going under contract on the property. I just I tried to get all the points that I could. I got the email, I stayed in the conversation, um, and I did what I could. Ooh, guy, what a battle, bro. That, that was a good one, man. You, you actually had me worry for a second there, man. You definitely did. So the total score here, let's see. I came in with 36 points for the whoop whoop. And you came in at 28. But hey, bro, it was a good fault battle. I mean, I think experience just um, floated its way right to the top of the cream. You feel me? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think um, I just got a bit unlucky one of the calls. But it was definitely oh, a whoop whoop. Bro, you, you believe in luck these days? <laughs> uh, they, you're right. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. right. You gotta, right. gotta, gotta take what you got, man. You gotta take what you get and make it happen. No, I'm just, just playing with you, man. I'm mad respect, bro. You, you, you showed us something, man. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you having me, guys. Thanks for tuning in. That's gonna do it for this episode. We got some fire episodes with some killer agents on the phone. I can't wait for those future episodes. So make sure you hit subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you thought. Follow Estate Media on all social media channels. And of course, your boy, Ricky Carruth. And we'll see you on the next episode.